In this video, you will learn about table mode. It's a tabular representation of a BPMN process model including all descriptions. That way, you can compile a document including a process model plus all necessary explanations, for example, for an audit. Please have a look at this conference page for a process called Incoming Hardware. It deals with hardware that is delivered to a company and needs to be tested and then be put somewhere in the company's warehouse. The wiki page has some textual meta information about the process, like who is responsible and when will the process be executed. And of course, there is a BPMN diagram, model with our BPMN modeler enterprise. There are four different roles that are involved in a process, each is represented by a separate swim lane. The carrier, who delivers the hardware with his truck, is an external actor. The internal actors are a warehouse worker, the warehouse manager, and an equipment tester. These two tasks are highlighted because this process documentation is still a work in progress and there are open issues regarding these. We'll get back to the open issues later. I enter presentation mode. When I hover over the icon above the task, the description will be displayed as a tooltip. When I click the icon, the editor panel will open and I can edit the description. The department representatives took the time to add a description to every task and also mentioned the open issue here. Apparently it's not clear where exactly the hardware should be placed and they will sort this out later. Displaying all task description at once is not possible in presentation mode, so I would have to click on every model element one by one. This is rather inconvenient, for example when you want to review the descriptions or when you want to discuss the open issues. This is when table mode becomes useful. Let me show you. I click the button Table Mode. Now we see a table with all tasks, events and gateways that have at least a name or a description. I can sort the elements, for example, by the participant. This is a good view when you are in a review process or when you discuss the process with a team of business experts. I can also export this view as CSV file. In order to do this, I click the CSV button up here. I can choose between commerce and semicolons as separators. If you want to open it later with Excel and you live in Europe, you should use semicolon. For the rest of the world, comma is a choice that works. The file is stored on my computer. This is what it looks like in Excel. Now I can share it with people that do not have access to Confluence. Back to our BPMN modeler. Our company is currently working on a full process map covering all business processes, not just logistics. So we would like to have each process documented as a single file, including everything, the BPMN diagram, the meta info and the descriptions. Also, that is the best way to present the business process for an audit. For this purpose, we have yet another functionality. This button over here exports the table onto the conference page. OK, I really want that. It will add the table directly below the BPMN model. Let's have a look at the result. Here's the table below the diagram. The header says exported from version 8. This is because the table will not update when the process model changes. However, I can edit it freely. For example, I could add new columns for input and output of each task. Last step in order to get my PDF file for the audit is to choose export as PDF. Now we have a file for external use that includes the process model and all descriptions. Thank you for watching. If you have any ideas how to improve table mode or any other aspects of our BPMN model enterprise, please let us know. Questions are welcome as well.